Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting, relaxing, quick questions and of course we can easily enhance our knowledge. Right here we have 10 minus 2 times 2. So on the first side this is like the easiest question you've ever seen. We don't have like a huge numbers, complicated expression, we don't have any square root, sine, cosine, so a hard expression you know right here. We have a regular expression without any like problems, we don't have any complicated expressions. We have 10 minus 2 times 2. So here's a question to you, what is the correct answer? This is like a very tricky question, so right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Choose one option, what do you think is a correct? Right here we have option A, option B, option C, so three options, so let's try to solve it together. We will check our answers in the end of the video, but right now I suggest you to choose one option, what do you think is a correct answer? And write your option down into the comment section, we will check our answers. Ok, here's our question, here's our option, and let's try to solve it. What is the first way? So a lot of students solve this question like that. I want to start with this solution because this is like the most popular solution I've ever seen because uh, a lot of students start with this subtraction so we have 10 minus 2 so from left to right equal to 8 and we still have this multiplication so 8 divided 8, 8 times 2 equal to equal to 16 we have this option A this is like maybe the most obvious solution a lot of students solve it like that but one really important moment so in math we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem so we cannot go well like from left to right so it's not work like like that in math, we need to know what is the correct order to do this operation. For example, we have a lot of math operations like division, subtraction, addition, so we need to understand what is the correct order, yeah? Because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create like a different answer, so we need to understand what is one and only one correct order of operation. So right here I leave this uh, solution like that, because I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I want you to understand a correct order of operation. In this case, let's look for example at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PIMDMC. Okay, and right here we have this order of operation, but I want to say I respect every order of operation, for example, board mass, for example, PMDMC, and whatever order of operation, I respect it, but in this case, let's uh, let's uh, check this PMDMC, it doesn't matter, PMDMC, board mass, in this question, we will have like the same answer, so it doesn't matter what order of operation. So, this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, this is our first important rule, and let's try to solve it according to PMDMC and check with this 16, maybe we'll have the same answer, yeah? So, we have 10 minus 2 times 2. Okay, let's look at it. What about about the first step. The first step parentheses. As I told before, right here we don't have any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part. We don't have any brackets, any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part, which is really great for us, because with parentheses we need to start from this, we don't have it, and it's really good for us. Okay, the next step, exponents. What about exponents? Maybe we have like powers right here. No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any powers, so we just skip this, skip this step as well. So as you can see, we just already skipped these two parts, which is really good. Okay, what is the next step? The next step, multiplication, and a lot of students do this mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, but uh, according to PMDMC, multiplication is uh, with this division group, yeah? So multiplication and division, this is one common group, okay? This is really important step. So we need to scan where do we have multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. Subtraction, we don't need it. Right here we have multiplication, so according to this group we need multiplication and division sign. And we didn't have, we didn't have like division, we have multiplication, doesn't matter, okay, this is great, we have multiplication, we don't have division, it is, it is really good. So saying in other words, if we're talking about addition and subtraction group, we have subtraction, but this is our last step. So right here we have subtraction, we don't have like addition. So as you can see, we have only two steps from this. We have multiplication and subtraction. But as you can see on this PMDMC, multiplication is before subtraction. This is maybe the key moment. So we need to multiply it first. You need to do the thing with multiplication and division group, and then we can end with this subtraction, okay? So multiplication group, we do, the, we do this, so 10 minus, 2 times 2 equal to equal to 4 and 10 minus 4 equal to equal to 6. So as you can see right here we already solved with this uh, with this beam DMC, but one really important moment. You need to know the key rule right here, multiplication and division is before addition and subtraction. You need to know, you need to learn this. Okay, we solved this question, correct answer is 6. But if you look closely to this, we don't have this option. We don't have this option 6 right here, and a lot of students do this mistake, they solve this correctly, but then they go back to this 16, which is absolutely wrong answer. 
I will, right now I want to cancel this solution because this is a very bad solution for us. We cannot do that like subtraction and then multiplication. This is a very huge mistake, but a lot of students goes back to this wrong answer because they don't see like right here this option. Option A is not the same, option B is not the same, but option C, 3 factorial, let's remember or let's learn. 3 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 3. We have 1 times 2, we have 2, 2 times 3, we have 6. So in this option, it hides our answer because 3 factorial, this is the same 6. So my finally in conclusion, 6 is a correct answer according to PMDMC and we write it, our answer, our answer hides right here, so 3 factorial, this is the same thing, so our answer is C. But one really important notes for me, because right here, if you put parentheses, brackets, then we need to start from these parentheses. And then correct answer will be 16, but in our case, we don't have parentheses. So our correct answer is option C, which is six and three factorial right here. So a correct answer is six. But with parentheses, correct answer is 16 because we need to start from this parentheses. This is our first step. And then if you have parentheses, we need to start from this. So I hope you understand my thought about it. I hope your, your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. This is like math. We need to learn. We need to remember. We need to learn something new. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. I wish you all the best and see you in the next videos.